so check this out, right? Check this out, all right? Um, this is one of my favorite games. It's called The Black Cauldron, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave a link in the uh, description of how you guys can play it online. Um, but check this part out, right? Check this part out. Let me just uh, exit... But check this out, right? Check this part out. I like. Do you know how, like, when when you die on like video games, you hear that death sound or whatever? Like, you know, when when you uh, like you're, when you're playing a video game or whatever, you hear that infamous death sound or whatever. But check this out, right? Just check this. Ah. Check this out. Sound. Yeah, I think the sound is on. Now, the Horn King is like, you know... In this room right over here, right? He's he's waiting to you know fill the cauldron with like you know um, uh, evil people to like go and kill the world, blah blah blah. But yeah, check this out. <laughs> That music plays at the end of the game, when you win. So what the fuck? What the actual fuck? The only way to kill the king, right? You're supposed to use the uh, the magic mirror, and you show him the magic mirror. He looks inside the magic mirror, and you know uh, the horn king. You know he uh, kills himself, and he runs into the cauldron. Blah blah blah, and and thus that you win. Blah blah blah. So, but what I don't understand is that, like you know, in the death, like when you when the king catches you and he puts you in the cauldron, you hear the death sound, and then you hear a happy sound. What the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it. Also, there's a game called King's Quest 3. King's Quest 3 where you make potions and blah blah blah. In the game, uh, you're supposed to go down into the basement and make potions. Uh, this is what, you know, the music sounds like. Dun, 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 dun. Not that, but since these are both Sierra games, right? Um, the first sound that you're gonna hear is the sound where uh, where your name is. Um, I forget, but in King's Quest Three, uh, I forget what the what the person's name is. Blah blah. But you're supposed to like you know make potions to uh, kill the king. Blah blah blah. So, the first sound you're about to hear, that is the exact same sound that you hear in King's Quest 3 when you are, like, you know, making potions in the basement and so on and so forth. Yeah, but that's the first sound that you hear. Give a listen. That 
that's the sound you hear when you're playing King's Quest 3 and you're downstairs in the basement making potions to uh, kill the king, get away from the king, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the sound that you hear. And this one, I, I just don't get it, right? The Horned King just captured you and he throws you into the cauldron, blah, blah, blah. And then you hear the death sound and then you hear a happy sound. You hear a fucking happy sound. What the fuck? That happy sound you hear when you win the game called the Black Cauldron. I don't get it. I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, um, this is this is what happens when you kill, when you uh, kill the king. Right? I'll, I'll show you what happens. So I'm going to show you what happens when uh, you kill the king. Ready? Watch this. You're supposed to kill the king with the mirror, right? The magic mirror. You kill the king with the magic mirror, blah, blah, blah. You have all of these uh, knapsack bread while you have all this other stuff, right? But you kill the king with the magic mirror. Horn King, look here, you shout! You hold the mirror directly in front of the Horn King's eyes. He sees not his face, but his true inner self. The vision of his evilness is so overpowering that he runs into the evil cauldron and leaps inside. The cauldron begins to tremble violently and emits a frightful roar, shaking the castle to its very foundations. The Horn King is destroyed! The castle walls tremble and shake. Stones fall and pillars collapse around you. The force of the exploding cauldron throws you out of the Horn King's secret chamber and, on, and into the moat. You grab a piece of floating wood and hang on for dear life. Hold on tight, Taryn! Now there's a cauldron in the lake. How did the cauldron get to the lake? That's what I want to know. Well, young Terran, things are not working out as you expected, are they? Crackle the witches. Being a great hero is not all it's cracked up to be. Since you won't be using it, we've decided we want our cauldron back. Now, how did the cauldron get from the castle to the lake? That's what I want to know. That is what I want to know. Of course, we'll not take it. We'll trade it for it. Terran, we'll offer you this magnificent warrior shield. With it, you can fight the most courageous fighter in all Peridian. It's your choice, Assistant Pig Keeper. We won't wait all day, though. If you, if you don't want that, how about this? A magic suit of in protectable armor. It will protect you from all mortal weapons and you'll live to a ripe old age. You drive a hard bargain, pig boy. Here's our final offer. Give us the cauldron and you'll have your magic sword back. And then after you take your magic sword, you hear that happy music that you heard while, you know, when the Horn King killed you. Once again, you hold your magical sword in your hand. Now immortal, you live to a ripe old age, fight many battles, and thanks to the sword, always emerge victorious.